Okay guys, so before I start this video, I realized that I actually started the video yesterday. Wrong. So in the previous video, I told you guys that we were building that couch and just the entire little area and we were making it nice for our friends. We we're gonna surprise them with the reveal. I didn't, I have that video I never showed you guys. The videos there didn't go out as planned. Um, I, it was my fault. I did a bad job recording a bunch of things. So here's the video of their reactions. It's not all that great, but here it is. What wasn't you? I don't know. Hey, buddy. What's up? You didn't even park in the rock. She got yelled at for that, remember? You didn't park right here. What? Yeah, I forgot how much base no scrubs has. <laughs> oh. I had to turn yeah. it down. Although with my car, as I turn it down, the base gets louder. I would at least move. Why? Because there you can get towed. I'm past the red. But you're on the street. It's not my fault. I didn't do it. Oh. Yeah. All right. So what am? We're walking. Okay. Well, I got a tiny person in the way. Who seems out of it? <coughs> I can't eat to save my life. Oh? Yeah. Oh, you got brick and wood and fanciness. Actual pavers to go around the back. Oh, those are flagstone, but... Whatever. Those were the flagstones that were here. It looks so much better like this. It, yeah, it does, because we did all the pavers here. Oh, that actually looks a lot better. It really does. The night that you were complaining about your... Okay guys, so apparently my camera did not record audio um, when I first recorded this. Typical GoPro stuff. So, basically right here, that silver Jeep right there, um, I was just working on, kind of, it didn't really work the way I wanted it to. But then I was giving Amanda a hard time for having two silver Jeeps, just saying that she's got a thing for silver Jeeps. And then right here, basically I'm explaining what we're doing today, and what we were doing was or what I was doing was I was building a, um, I'm sorry, I'm building um, a power tool charging station and kind of like a place to hang your power tools and stuff because I was switching from Ryobi power tools. If you follow the channel for a while, you'll know that I only use Ryobi stuff. And then I switched over to DeWalt stuff, which you'll see at the end of the video. So that's kind of why I was just doing it, just kind of figured I would use the Ryobi's one last time and to make something, to make the replacements basically. Okay, so I don't claim to be a carpenter, but <clears throat> it's almost done. So we've got a section there that's a little bit bigger, and these are a little bit bigger. Like, quite a bit bigger, actually. I don't know how I got them an entire inch too big than what they told me to. <laughs> Unless they're supposed to come out the front. In which case, I would have done it wrong, but oh well. Um, but yeah, so these are done I gotta cut these off or relocate them or what I'm gonna do to them and then we're basically done I'm going to stain it so it's a different color just not this wood and then we'll get it hung up I don't have a power strip or anything figured out yet or hung up yet or for it anyway I gotta do the wiring inside the shed to figure out where all everything's gonna work with everything that's already in there but yeah that's it that only took about an hour so Nice little fun project. So, 
I found a video. I'm going up build plans, so it gives you the dimensions and all that stuff. And I found a video attached to it, and those parts on the bottom where the drill is gonna, yeah, those are supposed to be flush on both sides. But I'm not gonna do that because I kind of like that it protrudes out a little bit, but I want it to be flush on the back, so obviously I can mount it to a wall. So I think what I'm gonna do instead is unscrew them and just move them forward to basically reverse it that way it'll protrude out the front a little bit and then um be flush on the back to the wall the reasoning behind that is i was kind of looking at some of the drills that i already have in it and i think they'll be a little bit too long for how small everything is how short everything else is so I want that extra little bit of real estate so that they can sit in there and actually stay in there, but hang up and not be kind of kooky and fall down, potentially fall down if they get dropped or bumped or something. So there's the plan for that. And then I'll still cut the other top part of that other side off. And after that, we're just gonna stain it. And then we're basically done from there. Um, obviously still mounting it and getting the wiring and stuff which you'll see but I don't think I'm going to show any of the other adjustments and the stain you'll just see it when it's finished and about to be mounted but I am going to be doing some stuff to my own personal my own home desk that's used for both the video editing and stuff and um, work since I'm working from home right now I have some some accents that we're going to add to it. Make it a little bit nicer. Alright, so what we got here is the LED strip or RGB strip lighting stuff. Which, if I can get the box open, there we go. It's going to go on the back here because I got this new desk. It's quite big. That's the work setup. That's my setup. I have the RGB keyboard. Which actually isn't usually RGB. Um, it usually, there we go. This does two different shades of blue. But that can be changed depending on how I feel about this stuff. So yeah, we're gonna try to get this set up real quick. So then we go along the back there and kind of just shine back and look cool. So it's on music mode right now. It kind of works. Some songs, obviously, it's going to work better than others. But it's set up. I actually had a mode set up to match the keyboard with the two different blues. I'm going to actually change the keyboard to colors to help it match a little bit better. But no, I'm liking it. I liked it. When I saw the black desk, I was like, it's got to have the accent lighting. And I'm happy I did it. Um, Alexa, pause music. Um, it's actually really cool and it was super easy to install. The instructions said to prep it and then heat up the glue and do it. You guys watched me, I didn't do either of those. It actually came with a alcohol pad to prep it in there. I didn't even see that till afterwards. The instructions, there's really not any. I don't think you can reattach the piece that I had to cut off, which kind of sucks because it would be kind of neat to be able to reattach it, but then again, how would you do that, you know? We do have a lot of stuff to do over in Madness tonight after I get off. So as the routine goes, it's starting around the day, we'll probably end the video at night, after dark. But I will see you guys in a little bit because I gotta start logging into work. All right, so I kind of messed some things up. I was supposed to show you guys a lot last night and I showed you guys like nothing. But <clears throat> here's how of course it's on a black table, but here's how it's looking. So, I had to go to the parts store, 
to get a thermostat for the Silver Grand Cherokee and like a drain pan and stuff to do for the coolant and whatever. So yesterday during the day, like I said I was gonna do, I didn't do anything to this thing. It just Oh. I missed a spot there. Oh well. I it sat in my Jeep all day. So um yeah, we're actually gonna set you on a mountain do or a month mount we're set you on. Yeah. So we didn't do anything all day. I worked, but between, uh, or during my breaks, I didn't do that. Like I said I was going to, I didn't find a stand and do anything. So while I was at the parts store getting the thermostat, I decided to just get some paint from there. Now it was super busy and I didn't want to wait for them to let me into the paint booth. We have a bunch of white paint here, but I don't want to do it white. So I went ahead and I got some bed liner paint, like spray on bed liner stuff. It's kind of working. Alright, so here it is in all its glory, I suppose. So this is a bed liner. When it was, when it was wet, it actually didn't, it was just like wet paint. But it's kind of got a little bit of a texture to it. Now it's not really bad, like a really rough bed liner, which is probably good. I wanted something that was kind of grippy though. Look, you can see that I got the DeWalt in here. That one actually fits on here way better, which is a good thing I'm switching over. Or LB Charger doesn't really fit. Same thing with the accessories, actually. The DeWalt accessories fit in here pretty well. But the Ryobi ones stick out a little bit, which is okay. Switch it over to DeWalt anyway, although I will keep the bits and the drivers. Um, yeah, and then the new DeWalt Impact, I used, actually used that to put this up. And the power between this little guy and this guy is phenomenal like I don't think I'll need a different impact for a while so that's pretty awesome and I'll probably replace the drill at some point with a DeWalt one just to keep batteries consistent but yeah that's how I got it set up the wiring is kind of could be better but this is all I'm doing for the time being I'll do something a little bit better when I'm in a more permanent setup but I'm actually quite happy with that. everything's all just hung up it frees up the space that was over here, and all is good. I mean, I do wish it was a little bit lower. That way I could see the battery status. Um, I can kind of see it on this one here, which is fine, but the Ryobi, I can't. Let's move it up. Um, but I didn't want anything to interfere with the box, so I moved it up just a little bit, because like even I don't think this one will fit over here. Oh yeah, well, just barely, but it'll fit, which is awesome. Yeah, that's... That's it, I'm gonna end it off here. Um, what more has happened, like I did a bunch of stuff with the Jeep that I didn't show in this video. I actually didn't even record most of it, or any of it, I don't think. But, <clears throat> I have hiccups now, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.